Just getting in some videotape, uh, very uh, fascinating videotape because it sets the scene, Dana, for what could be an extremely contentious debate tonight. Look at this. There you see in the middle of your screen Donald Trump, but from left to right, Kathleen Willey, Juanita Broderick, then Donald Trump in the middle, Kathy Shelton, Paula Jones. Uh, these are women who have made very strong accusations against Bill Clinton, except for Kathy Shelton. Uh, she. Uh, has accused, uh, she, uh, she was uh, a rape victim, and Hillary Clinton, as a public defender, represented the man accused of raping her. Donald Trump is speaking of these women. I don't know if our audio is good enough, but, but we really can't understand what he's saying. But this sets the stage for what could be a really ugly and contentious debate tonight. The fact that he has brought these women here to a hotel in St. Louis, has invited cameras in there to see them, to hear them. Uh, and uh, I can only imagine what's going to happen later tonight. What they're saying is almost irrelevant. At age 59, were you a different man or did that behavior continue until just recently? And you have two minutes talk, for as this. I told you, that was locker room talk. Uh, I'm not proud of it. I am a person who has great respect for people, for my family, for the people of this country, and certainly I'm not proud of it, but that was something that uh, happened. If you look at uh, Bill Clinton, far worse, minor words, and his was action. His was what he's done to women. There's never been anybody in the history of politics in this nation that's been so abusive to women. So you can say any way you want to say it, but Bill Clinton was abusive to women. Hillary Clinton attacked those same women and attacked them viciously, four of them here tonight. One of the women, who is a wonderful woman, at 12 years old, was raped at 12. Her client, she represented, got him off, and she's seen laughing on two separate occasions, laughing at the girl who was raped. Kathy Shelton, that young woman, is here with us tonight. So don't tell me about words. I am absolutely, I apologize for those words. But it is things that people say. But what President Clinton did, he was impeached. He lost his license to practice law. He had to pay an $850,000 fine to one of the women, Paula Jones, who's also here tonight. And I will tell you that when Hillary brings up a point like that, and she talks about words that I said 11 years ago. I think it's disgraceful, and I think she should be ashamed of herself, if you want to know the truth. Can we please hold the applause? Secretary Clinton, you have two minutes. I didn't think I'd say this, but I'm going to say it. And I hate to say it. But if I win, I am going to instruct my attorney general to get a special prosecutor to look into your situation because there has never been so many lies, so much deception, there has never been anything like it. And we're gonna have a special prosecutor. When I speak, I go out and speak, the people of this country are furious. In my opinion, the people that have been long-term workers at the FBI are furious. There has never been anything like this where emails and you get a subpoena, you get a subpoena, and after getting the subpoena, you delete 33,000 emails. And then you acid wash them, or bleach them, as you would say, a very expensive process. So we're gonna get a special prosecutor, and we're gonna look into it, because you know what? People have been, their lives have been destroyed for doing one-fifth of what you've done, and it's a disgrace, and honestly, you ought to be ashamed of Secretary yourself. Secretary, everything he just said is absolutely false, but I'm not oh, surprised. Really? I Calm told down people here. that it would be impossible to be fact-checking Donald all the time. I'd never get to talk about anything I want to do and how we're going to really uh, make lives better for people. So. Once again, go to HillaryClinton.com. We have literally Trump. You can fact check him, fact check, fact check him in real time. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah, because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> 
So, Jeffrey, I heard you laughing. Yeah. Obviously, that is a <laughs> crowd <laughs> pleaser. That's a crowd pleaser for Trump supporters. There's no question about yeah. that. He already has Trump supporters. Okay. They already yes. support him. Is that the kind of line that exemplifies the kind of temperament that those who are undecided want to hear from him? Y yes, and I'll tell you why. This is about, as Kaylee was saying, this is about the American people versus the political class in this country. Media elites, politicians, etc., who, as he said repeatedly there, talk, 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 and they never get anything done, and they lie, and they dissemble. And she would, in fact, if she were not Hillary Clinton, she would be in huge trouble you know? with these emails. And she would conceivably be going to jail. I mean, other people have gone to jail for, for these kind of problems. So what he's doing there is hitting the broad themes, one, the division between the American people and the political class, two, her character. If you remember that famous uh, Quinnipiac poll from last year where they asked people to free associate uh, you know, one word descriptions of the candidates and for her it was dishonest and liar. That's, that's you know that's kind of a bogus poll where they, I mean, the, the, I think the biggest ones for Trump were unflattering as well. But, but I, I take your point on the fact that she has very, very low uh, trustworthy and honesty numbers. In, so in he was polls. hitting this. Okay. Anderson, Anderson, Jake, thanks very much. Uh, we're got, we got an excellent moment right now to discuss something I've never heard in any of these debates before between two presidential candidates. And Dana, let's talk a little about this. One candidate says not only is he going to put forward a special prosecutor to investigate his rival, but, and this is very serious, he's going to put her in jail if he's elected president of the United States. That's pretty extraordinary. Okay, not to sound too corny, but what makes this country different from uh, countries with dictators in Africa or S Stalin or Hitler or any of those countries with dictators and totalitarian leaders is that when they took over, they put their opponents in jail. To hear one presidential candidate say, even if it was a flip comment, which it was, you're going to be in jail to another presidential candidate on the debate stage in the United States of America, stunning, just stunning.